Okay, this topic is 11.3, Evaluating Logarithmic Expressions. I did pre-record it, which is why everything's already written down. But I'm going to go ahead and talk it through. Now, you cannot put any log of any base in your calculator. Right? This one has log base 5, log base 2, log base 6, log base 4. You can't do any of those logs in your calculator that we know of right now. Now there is a way to convert them, but that's not going to be discussed until after you get further along in this chapter. So for now, the only way for us to evaluate logs with other bases other than base 10 and base E um, is to kind of rewrite the expressions as exponentials and then try to figure out what that exponent should be. Because remember, a logarithm equals an exponent. So you're basically asking yourself, what should the exponent be here in this expression? So you can say, well, this equals, you know, question mark something. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out, right? Or you can use a letter like X or Y or any letter you want, really. Um, but once you have an expression here or a question mark, an X, a Y, a variable, or a, just simply a question mark, um, then you switch the form of that equation, okay? And so when I switch the form of the equation, it's going to turn into an exponential equation. The base 5, this is going to become my exponent, and then my argument is going to go to the other side. And then it's a matter of asking yourself, 5 raised to what exponent is going to equal 1 over 25? Now I do know that 5 raised to the 2 power will give me 25. But if I want it to be 1 over 25, I have to remember that it needs to be a negative exponent. Remember what a negative exponent does. It takes the reciprocal. So it flips things over. So 25 can be written as 25 over 1. And then a negative exponent will flip that. So then it becomes 1 over 25. Okay? So basically I'm saying 5 to the negative 2 equals 125. And you should be able to verify that in your calculator. 5 raised to the negative 2, that is 1 over 25. So what was the exponent that we found? The exponent that we found was negative 2. So the answer here is negative 2. This question mark is the value negative 2. Now, same thing over here. I put question mark again. So 2 raised to the question mark exponent equal to the argument. And then I used my calculator because I said 2 to the 3rd is too small. 2 to the 4th was too small. And 2 to the 5th was 32. So then I realized that 2 to the 5th power is 32, which means that that exponent that I was looking for is 5. Now, if you don't like the question mark, you can put an X. So I had the X here and I switched the form. So this base raised to that exponent equal to this argument. And then I realized that, well, six to the one will equal six. And you can verify it in your calculator. Six to the one equals six. So the exponent that I was looking for equals one. So one is the answer there. Over here, I just was showing that instead of using X, you could use any other letter you want to. Um, I chose to use Y just as an example that you could, it doesn't matter what letter you choose because the letter is not the answer. It's the number of that you find that's the answer. And this is actually wrong. So I'm kind of glad I had to re-record this. So if I switch the form over, it becomes base 4 with the Y exponent equal to the argument. And then I realize that in my calculator, for anything, any base raised to the 0 power will equal 1. Okay? So certainly 4 raised to the 0 power is going to equal 1. And I just verified it in my calculator real quick. So then that exponent we were looking for is actually the value 0 there. So that's all you're going to do for these. I mean, all the expressions are going to be different. Um, you could even get an expression like this. Log base to the 1 over... Um, Four of 16 like that and then so I would let it equal a variable I'm going to say in this time, case just to be different so one fourth raised to the power z equals 16 well one thing I know <clears throat> is that 4 squared will be 16 
But if I want to get the reciprocal so that it's not a fraction anymore and it turns into a whole number, the exponent would have to be a negative 2. And let's verify that in our calculator. 1 over 4 raised to the negative 2. So it should be doing two things. It should be squaring it, which would make it 1 over 16. But then because of the negative, it should be flipping it over, making it 16 over 1, or just 16. And sure enough, it's 16. So what was the variable? The variable equals the exponent, which was negative 2. Okay? So just keep using that form swap method to be able to figure out what the exponent is. And then it's just a matter of how good are you at exponents. Remembering that a negative exponent will get you the reciprocal. And then just use your calculator to play around. You can't figure it out on your own.